Hello everybody, welcome to UKPM Survival and Outdoors here on YouTube and in this latest UK Prepper Man video we are talking about maps for your book out bag. Stay tuned. So here we are and yes in this video we are talking about uh, maps for bug out bags. Okay? Now um, modern technology and all that, um, everybody pretty much has a smartphone, we have sat navs in the car and you know sometimes people will have GPS systems but these things are all reliant on you know, two main things. Okay? One, um, battery power and two, signal. Okay? If one or the other fails that device is not going to be functioning properly. Okay, so that's why we are reliant on maps. Now I'm not going to go into bearings and actual map reading in this video, but I'm just going to explain a couple of things I keep within my uh, 72 hour inch bag, and this is sort of a you know a prequel to uh, um, a follow up video about my bug out bag itself because I've not done an updated video on that, and uh, really that sort of thing hasn't changed much in the last um, two or three years. All right. But uh, back to the maps anyway, um, if you are coming out of a city or in a survival situation then you know it is going to be tough, Okay, there's no getting away with it. Your mind is going to be running at 100 miles an hour, there are going to be lots of distractions, there are going to be lots of um, you know, things that you've got to think about. Okay, So having an idea of where you're going has got to be high on the cards. Okay, Now you know it is what it is you know having a map and having something like a tough map is really really beneficial okay the tough map was made um wow back this edition was done in the 2000 okay and i think that they aren't really available now but you can get them on the second hand market okay this one came from ebay i have seen them occasionally in less good condition in sort of um bookstores and charity shops and that side of things but it depends on really how well used they are to actually be I mean this one is pretty much looks like it's come straight off the printers okay um, it is 100% waterproof and tearproof and the reason is it's got a coating on the pages okay look the last thing you want in a survival situation is your most important you know articles falling apart so you know it, it is really worth if you can find one of these getting one okay um, I would say the one drawback it has got though um, is the scale okay it is 12 miles to one inch so um, it means you are on quite a small scale and that means that you can't get down to that last little distance you know very easily but depending on where you're traveling from it's ideal okay so say your um, bug out location is 30 or 40 miles away and you've got to get to that location from um, further than that say you've been out and you can't get back home for some reason and you've got to go to that location then this would be really really good okay and then of course you would once you get more local of course you have your OS um, Explorer map within your bug out bag with your location on and that one will be a larger scale and then you can find your actual position okay so that's really the idea for having something like this and it does cover the whole UK um, it uh, also has city centre plans so if you are in a situation where you've got to come out of a city centre you do have the maps for this as well and sometimes again you know with mobile phone signals failing if there was a grid down situation then you know it's an ideal thing to have all right while we're talking about city centres brings me nicely on to the second item that I have um, which is uh, the OS map of the waterways okay now I've not really talked about that sort of side of things before okay um, but if say for example if you are coming out of a, um, a city centre for example you can go down obviously the road network you can go on to uh, rural um, locations you can go into the countryside but you can also go on the waterways okay most city centres will have a canal okay it's an old shipping um, method um, where before things were sent on the roads they were sent on trains and they were sent on uh, boats okay so the network of canals is still there and pretty much once they're there they're there they're not going to change that much okay certainly in terms of locations so you know the actual infrastructure you'll find you can go from town to town by following the canal towpaths they tend to be fairly well made up they normally got amenities en route and they uh, nice thing in here it does show you the uh, um, places where you could stop for, for fuel for example for water for petrol for diesel and that side of things to actually replenish your supplies normally obviously for people who are on the you know the boats and that side of things but in a survival situation if you had to actually um, forage for those sorts of materials or for food or anything like that you have that information marked on the map 
Um, things do change, and obviously this um, fourth edition was actually made in uh, 1989. Okay, originally it was done in 1983, and there is going to be some changes there certainly maybe some of the pubs have uh, gone you know and certainly in the current climate they aren't open anyway but okay moving forward you know they might be there you might be able to have access and of course if it wasn't in a survival situation at least you know where you're going okay but if it was a true bug out situation then having you know that network that you can follow it's a bit like the railways okay but safer, okay? I don't want to encourage people to walk down railway lines. Of course, if they're disused, brilliant. But if they aren't, then, you know, you put yourself in a bit of danger, all right? So, uh, um, but I thought I'd just show you that anyway. It's just a consideration. If you're putting together a 72-hour bag, bug-out bag, anything like that, then, uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, possibly, you know, get yourself one of these. These are available, um, came from a charity shop um, for the price of 50 pence. Not bad, considering it was £6.95 when it was uh, released, uh, as I say, a good number of years ago. Um, and also the tough map as well um, check out uh, online you might find one of these in the second hand market and uh, I think this again was probably around about two or three pounds at the time so a little bit cheaper 9.99 when that was uh, um, originally done so again a bit of a saving there so I hope that's given you some inspiration and you know, some uh, ideas if you are thinking about um, what to put into a bug out bag. I, I am going to do an update video. Um, the last video I did about my 72 hour bag was um, several years back so there has been some changes and I think I've, I've updated it a little bit as well with some you know, new kits so that's on the cards as well. Um, remember you can of course follow me on Instagram where you'll see a uh, content updates and all that sort of thing and if you've enjoyed this video hopefully you'll like the other videos just on the side all right um, if you have enjoyed the video please give me a like share and subscribe at the bottom and any comments of course love to hear them till then thanks for watching stay safe and bye for now